Hey, what's up guys? I noticed a lot of you guys are getting puppies and a lot of y'all are asking me how to train a puppy, where do I start? And I wanna show you guys today on a basic training session with me and my dog, Bo. Now my dog is three years old, he's not a puppy. I don't have a puppy, so I can't show you in the puppy phase, but what I'm about to tell you is same concept. It's just gonna take a little bit more time and effort when you have a puppy. So disclaimer, I am not a professional dog trainer. I never claim to be, I never will claim to be, but I do think I'm knowledgeable when it comes to this topic. I'm not saying I'm the best out there. There's a ton of methods. There's a ton of methods. These are my methods. This is what works for me. I'm showing you the way I do it, okay? I believe my dog is very obedient and he listens to me. So let me show you what works. Keep watching. Now real quick, before we get into the video, I just wanna say that we are launching new products for you guys' dogs for Black Friday. Right now what we're doing is we're doing an early bird list. So we're gonna send these people an early bird access to our Black Friday launch before anyone else. You could go and sign up for that list. There'll be a link in the description. And the early bird access allows you to get your opportunity to get your hands on the products we are launching. So there'll be a link in the description if you wanna go and sign up for that. Let's get right into the video. Okay, so when you start, you definitely want to have something in hand that your dog is very interested in. Maybe it's treats, maybe it's a toy, maybe it's yourself, your praise. It could be either one of these things. It's up to you to find out what your dog is really into and what it responds to, okay? Come here, Bo. So we're gonna start with the sit command. I have treats in my pocket. That's what my dog responds to. Now, if you have a puppy that you're trying to teach the sit command, you keep saying sit when you want it to sit. So you actually give the command. Now, how I lured Bo into sitting is they follow their nose, okay? Let me show you an example. So did you guys see that? When I put the tree up and I lure it close to his nose, that makes his bottom hit the ground. And as soon as his bottom hits the ground, you say yes. That's marking it. That's saying, yes, you did what I want you to do. The tree comes immediately after. It's kind of a similar concept to clicker training. When someone gives a dog a command, they do it, they click it, and they give them a treat. I don't use the clicker training method. What I do is I use my voice as a cue that he did the right thing. So let's do it again. Oh, come here. Uh, come. Yes, good boy. Then I give him the treat. You see how I said yes as soon as his bottom hit the ground? That means you did the right thing, you get a treat right after, okay? That's how I started with puppy training. So you, if you can't get your dog to sit right when you say sit, you lure their nose like this as such. You see how it made his bottom hit the ground? You say yes and you give him a treat. Now let's say you try the treat on the nose. You try to lure him to get in his bottom hitting the ground and he doesn't do it. That's when you start giving a little, you know, pop on the collar. Not a crazy pop, nothing to hurt them, but just like a, hey, it's a community, it's a little piece of communication. You're telling them, hey, I want you to sit, all right? And you can't use a harness when you're doing this type of stuff because the harness is not, it's not a direct line of communication. If I do this on his collar, he feels it right in the neck area. If I do it on, let's say you're tugging a backpack on me. You just tug the backpack, what does that do? That does nothing for me, okay? So, come here, Bo. Come here. Up. Yes, good boy. Did you see that? I lured him a little bit, his bottom didn't hit the ground. I gave him a little pop, then his bottom hit the ground. I said yes and then I gave him the treat. That's all I do, all right? This is what I've done repetitively for 15 minutes a day and it's helped me get my dog to be very obedient, all right? Now let's work on the lay down command. So it's the same concept as how I was telling you guys how I get him to sit, all right? You lure his nose down to the ground if you want him to lay down. Yes. Boy, sit. Not, not, nope, up. Sit. Yes, good boy. Up. Up. 
Sit. Down. Yes, good boy. Up. Sit. Down. Yes, good boy. Come here. Come on. Sit. Down. Yes, good boy. So what I did there is I put the treat to his nose. I gave a command at the same exact time. I'm luring his nose down to the ground. As soon as I see his elbows hit the ground, he gives me a full lay down. I say yes right away. Timing means everything. I give it a yes. I give him the treat. That means he did good. You have to give the command at the same time you're luring them. So you communicate to them that that's what you want from them. I'm going to get Bo, I'm going to drag him to the area back there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to give him the sit command so he knows that I want him to sit. Then immediately what I'm going to do is I'm going to say stay. I'm going to walk away after I say stay. And if he follows me, then I give a verbal correction. And then I put him back to where he was in order for him to know that I need him to stay there. Okay, so let me demonstrate what it looks like. Come on, Bo. Stay. Then I walk away and let him stay there. All right. Don't call him. Don't give a come command or recall. Ah, ah. Sit. Stay. Yes. Did you see that? He was trying to get out of his position. I gave a verbal command. Ah, don't do that. Put him back to where he was. Said sit stay gave him a treat for staying look it he's staying right now okay when you get started they're gonna keep moving you got to keep putting them back into that position and saying stay you want to probably give him a little bit of baby steps backwards and see if he follows you if he follows you you give him a verbal command ah put them back to where they were and make them stay again when you give the stay command you never want to give a recall because what you're doing is you're training your dog to get out of that position when you want them to stay you're training them to break that position. So instead of telling him to come, I'm gonna go back to him and reward him for staying. Yes, good boy, good boy. I say good boy, that basically means break. He's able to break, now he can do whatever he wants. He did what I want. So that's how I do the stay command. It's very simple, it's easy technique. It just takes a lot of determination and a lot of consistency to get him right there. Again, if they break the stay position, you learn back to where they were and you make sure they stay. Never break that position with a recall because then you're training your dog to get out of that position. When you're first starting your recall, I suggest you start maybe at home or in a park where it's gated like this, where there's not a lot of distractions. Your dog can't get away from you. There's no crazy highways where there's a lot of danger. You're just in an open field. It's just you and him and you guys are able to work together. How I do it is I have a really long line, a really long leash, you see here? And we're in a big open field, there's distractions everywhere, there's dogs walking around here. And what I wanna do is, when I wanna you know, just let him get distracted. I want him to not pay attention to me. And when he's not paying attention to me, then what I do is I call his name, I say Bo. And if he listens, he comes to me, I give him a lot of praise while he's coming. I say yes, as soon as he starts coming, and then I give him a treat as soon as he gets to me. Now, if he decides that he doesn't want to come, that's when the long line comes in, all right? So let's say I call his name. I'm like, Bo, he doesn't come. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to give him a little pop like that. Just a little pop. Come. And what that does is communicates to them that I need to come wherever the line or wherever the line of pressure is coming, which is towards me. As soon as he starts coming towards me, I say yes, then I give him a treat as soon as he gets to me, all right? I wanna to demonstrate to you guys what that looks like. Let's see if I can get him distracted. Well, come. Come. Yes, good, good.
And if he's not getting distracted, what you could do is you could just toss a treat out there and let him go and get it. Now, as soon as he's done getting that treat, you call his name and you wait for that recall. If he doesn't recall, again, you give him a little pop on the collar and that helps him recall. As soon as he starts coming towards you, you say yes. And as soon as he gets to you, you give him a treat. Well, come. Yes, good, come. Yeah. Good. Oh, come. Yes, good. Good. Oh, come. Yes, good. Good. That's it. Yes. So you notice a few times there on the line, I had to give him a little pop. Just cause he was searching for more treats. I give him a pop, let him know to come to me. And as soon as he started coming to me, I said, yes. I gave him a treat as soon as he got here. So that is the basics of getting your dog to recall. There'll be more training videos in the future, but just get started on those. When you have a puppy, I encourage you to do it at home because it's safer at home. You're not a lot of distractions. There's not other dogs out here. You gotta crawl before you walk. Again, sorry for the win, but you gotta crawl before you walk. You gotta start somewhere. So start there at home, do it over and over again, 15 minutes to 30 minutes every day, and you will see results. You'll get your dog to start doing what you want them to do. It's building relationship, okay? If you guys wanna see more videos like this, where I show you how to train your dog or give you a little bit of tips on how I train my dog, then leave a comment below. Tell me what you guys want to see and I will teach you guys that or I'll try my best to teach you guys that. Of course, I'm not a dog trainer, like I said, but it's worked for me. It's done me wonders and I'm very proud of it. So I will see you guys on the next video. I'm out.